White approaches the football. And we are underway at BC Place. High and short by White. Reed from his own 20-yard line. Straight ahead to the 25, 30. Cuts back inside to the 34, and he's thrown down to the turf by Juwan Armour. And the mark him down just shy of the 34-yard line. 55-yard kickoff, 14-yard return. Michael Bishop in the Winnipeg offense on the field to start this football game. And I'm anxious to see this team live because I've seen them on television, but that television angle sometimes doesn't give you the whole picture. I want to see how archaic this offense is for my own eyes. Because that's what everyone's been telling us. Bishop will work out of the shotgun. Well, there's a change. Two back set, four receivers, four man front for the lines. First down, Bombers on 34. Bishop throws to Reed out of the backfield, makes the catch up over the 35 to the 40. So six yards for Fred Reed out of the backfield as he is brought down by Ricky Foley and Juwan Armour. It'll be second and four for the Bombers. And that's one, yard line. one of the things Mike Kelly talked about this week with Michael Bishop is they want to get the ball out of his hand as quickly as possible. Quick decisions. Don't hold on to it. Just get rid of it. Second and four Bombers in their own 40-yard line. Adarius Bowman wide right. Brock Ralph to the left. Two back set. Bishop shotgun. Going to throw. Looking right. Can't find anybody. Now he's flushed out of the pocket. Chased backwards by Brent Johnson. And Bishop just throws the ball. Up into the uh, crowd and got rid of it. Past the line of scrimmage, so no grounding, but good pressure by Brent Johnson forces Winnipeg into a two and out as Mike Renault comes on to punt the football. And we we talked uh, during the pregame about that statistic. Last week against the Montreal Alouettes, 17 offensive possessions. 12 of them were two and out. And there's number one for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Preston George and Ryan Grice Mullen stand back near their own 30-yard line. Mike Renault, the rookie out of Concordia to punt. Long, but not very high, so Mullen fields it at the 25, trying to get the corner. And Ooh. great job downfield on coverage by Evanson Bernard, who brings Grice Mullen down with a shoestring tackle at his own 24-yard line. 45-yard punt. Bryce Mullen lost a yard on the return. It was that close to yeah, being a big he, one. Though, he, Bernard was the outside contained to the wide side of the field, and Ryan Grice Mullen started up going towards the middle and then cut out to his right, and if he could have got past Bernard, he'd still be running. First and 10. Lions at their own 24. And six. Jarius Jackson out of the shotgun. Lombala and Mallet in the backfield. Jackson Rolling left, looking that way, throws, passes complete for the first down as he finds Arsenault, who picks up about 20 yards in the first play of the game out to the 44-yard line. And we talked about Michael Bishop's arm, and we've talked a lot about Jarius Jack. This is a hell of a throw. Rolling out to your left if you're a right-handed quarterback. Arsenal is the wide receiver to the wide side, does a deep out route. But to throw that ball going to your left with the kind of velocity that Jarius Jackson ha- has on his ball was outstanding. Give him 19 yards. Budget break him up. Their first down lines at their own 43. Four receivers right. Jackson out of the shotgun. Barks out the signals. Mallet loan back. Play action. Quick pass. Far side to Arsenault. And a nice read there by Javon Johnson, the corner, who stuffed that play for no gain. Maybe lost a yard. As the quick pass out to the wideout doesn't get anything for BC. Yeah, that, that's a very, very... Good read by Johnson, the corner. They tried to run a play action with a quick hitch screen to the receiver to the short side of the field, and Johnson was having no part of it. He read that right from the get-go and was right in Jackson's face before he could get upfield. So it's second and 11 BC at their own 42 and a half. Still scoreless early in this game. Three receivers right, two left. Jackson shotgun. Four-man rush. He drops straight back. Time goes over the middle for Paris Jackson. Can't make the catch at the 50, but a play comes down. Ike Charlton on the coverage. And it's going to be pass interference, I believe, against Winnipeg. Now that back judge right away throwing the flag, and Charlton must have had that off arm tucked inside. Winnipeg, number zero. Automatic first down. Hudstein with the call, pass interference, first down lines at the Winnipeg 50-yard line. Let's go down the field level, Scott Rintoul. Yeah, Rick, thank you very much. Jerry Jackson looking very sharp here early. He's on target with all of his receivers, and that's saying something because Winnipeg has given him a steady diet of cover two men, arguably the most difficult passing defense to go against. Budget break, a muffler, first down BC, Winnipeg 50-yard line. Jackson 
Play action, rolling to his right, throwing short, pass complete to Jared or to uh, Paris Jackson. He is able to get up over the first down marker, though, inside the 40, down to the 38-yard line, picks up 11 yards and uh, keeps the drive alive for yeah, BC. And this is a great throw with Gavin Walls, the defensive end for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, right in his face, and he takes a pretty good shot after making that throw. But, again, Jarius Jackson, not an easy guy to bring down. He's a big man. Six foot two, 240 pounds. He's going to make you work for it. Bunch of break and muffler, first down lines, 38 yard line of the Bombers. Looking to open the scoring in this first quarter. Jarius Jackson to throw again, wants to go deep for Arsenal behind coverage in the end zone. Oh! Catch. Touchdown, Lions! The kid does it again! Fifth touchdown of the year for Emmanuel Arsenal, and the Lions open the scoring. Are you kidding me, Emmanuel Arsenal? Wow! That ball had rain coming down on it. It was so high. Arsenal by himself on the right sideline, and Jarius Jackson just throws it as high and as far as he possibly can. And man, oh man, watch the highlight tonight because it's going to be worth it. This is a one-handed grab all the way by Emmanuel Arsenal. Sean White puts the convert through the uprights. Lions take a 7-0 lead, four and a half minutes into the football game. BC up by a touchdown. This is Burger King, BC.